All right, so this is layers in Photoshop. Now layers are like putting a transparency on an overhead projector and then putting something else on top of that. And you keep building those on their own specific layers until you have a full picture. And you this is the main thing you want to grasp in Photoshop if you want to start doing anything cool. So here we have an example of just a basic three layer thing. I'm going to go ahead and name these so it's more specific. You should always get in the habit of naming your layers. So I'm going to call this person. And I'm going to call this one uh, panels. Alright, so you have your layer palette over here. Hopefully you installed it in the window like I showed in my last video. But you go over and you select your layer and you can tell it's selected by the yellow highlight and you can disable the layer just you can disable looking at it by clicking this eye and you can see what's behind it and if we disable the panels layer we can see that the person actually has this kind of messed up here I'll zoom in so you guys can see has this kind of grainy look that isn't supposed to be there, like they cut the guy out somewhat wrong. So, if we were to fix that, we would want to make sure that we had our person layer selected, not our panels, because we don't want to draw on the wrong layer. So we have our person selected, then we go to Eraser Tool, and just erase this. And then, as you can see, when you enable that, nothing changes. You're just putting them all on like an overhead projector pretty much. So you want to get in the habit of naming your layers and positioning them correctly. So let's say that you were messing around with this with your picture and your person was getting cut off by the panels. And what's wrong is your panels is on top of the person. So to correct that, you can drag it underneath and place it in the slot between them for the person to be on top. See how the person layer is above the panels layer? Think about these as stacking and the background being the black in the back. So when you decrease the visibility of that, you'll see that they're just stacked. One on top of the other. And that's pretty much what layers are. Now, if you're thinking, well, why not just draw them all on the same thing? Well, because let's say you drew a green mustache on the person layer. And you didn't like the way that looked. Well, you can go to the history tab and go to the last thing you did. But let's say you were past that and decided to that you didn't like it. Well, you can't go to the person layer and try to erase these because then you'll start erasing the person also. So, what you need to do is, let's go back for a second, create a new layer down here at the bottom. There's a button that says create a new layer and you want to call it mustache. And See, already we can see that the mustache layer is underneath the person, so it won't show up. So we need to go ahead and drag this mustache layer on top of the person, and then we could draw the mustache. Oh. Oh, whoops, I have my eraser out. So if we go ahead and draw the mustache, then we can use our move tool in the top left and now that we have our mustache we can move it around separately from the person and position it exactly where we want it and then you could erase if you have the mustache selected you could erase on top and it'll only erase that layer so that's what you want to get in the habit of doing is creating everything on its own specific layer that you might want to change later and it also makes editing a lot easier as you go into these tutorials so, 
Let's go ahead and delete this mustache layer by selecting it and dragging it to the trash. And then let's create a new layer on top and we'll just call this effect. So this effect layer, we're gonna get we're gonna get a rectangular marquee up here, and we're just gonna make a box. And let's go ahead and paint it blue, dark blue. So now we've just totally covered up. We haven't destroyed anything in our photo because we could just decrease the visibility and see that it's just on top. And you can make an elliptical marquee while well, you have the effect layer selected and drag that and then press delete. Or you can use the eraser tool and go inside, but I like to just hit delete because it's a lot faster. So now when we deselect or command D or on a Windows control D, we can see that we've just made a hole to see into the into the layers below. So that's pretty much what layers are. Uh, you're gonna have to experiment with your own Photoshop and just play around with it. That's where you do most of your learning is just playing around with stuff that you see on here. Don't just look at these tutorials and move on. Actually play around with it for a bit because you're gonna learn a lot just by experimenting. So we could go ahead and delete this effect layer and that's basically what layers are. Now what I've shown you so far are the basics of Photoshop and we're gonna go ahead and get started on our first project and I'll explain to you exactly what the project is in the next lesson but it's gonna be called Color Bunny and it'll use the bunny that I showed you in the last example and I'll show you guys what some people in my multimedia art class have done for it and you can also submit it to the Facebook page in which I'll provide and everyone's will get rated and we'll pick a top five or ten whatever you guys think will be best and I'll give you about I'm thinking a week to two weeks to do that but depending on how many people actually participate it might be longer so I'll keep making tutorials almost every day while you guys work on that but at the end of that we'll see who has submitted some and thanks. We'll see you in the next project.